Hey everyone, welcome back to Kingdom of Loathing. My voice has just freshly come off of uh, recording Reach, so I'm about as husky as I get. No, actually I'm not. I'm definitely not. So uh, I did some grinding off screen. Made it to level 8. Council of Loathing wants me again. All this stuff. Adventurer, we've received an urgent letter from the Trapper requesting our assistance. We're like really busy right now, so we were hoping you could go to his place and see what he wants. He lives at the base of Mount McLarge Huge, tallest of the big mountains. Mark it on your map. That's another MST3K reference. We're going to do the typical tavern. Let's do this. You're fighting a were cougar. Oh yeah. This is a large mountain cat which, by the light of a full moon, turns into a drunken middle-aged woman with a predilection for younger men. Whatever moon governs her transformation is full now, which is good news and bad news for you. The good news is you're not about to get your arm chewed off by a mountain lion. The bad news is you're going to have to fend off some seriously inebriated on hitting. Oh no. We get her. We're too overleveled. You're fighting a plastered frat orc. This is a fraternity orc. A drunken fraternity orc. This is a drunken, belligerent fraternity orc. This is a drunken, belligerent, none too bright fraternity orc. Sorry, I was just seeing how many redundant, ad redundant adjectives I could add there. You're looking at the ridged brow, jutting teeth, and pop collar of a frat orc in his natural habitat and natural state of mind. In a bar, drunk and looking for a fight. Let's clobber him. Why not, right? Cool. We got an ice cold willer. Fork. You're fighting an unemployed knob goblin. This is a knob goblin who was once serving as the assistant to a knob goblin chef, but was fired after confusing sugar, salt, and rat poison one too many times. The knob goblins prefer rat poison as a garnish, not a seasoning. <laughs> That's great, actually. Now he just hangs out in the bar, looking at the beer, uh, the ladies through his beer goggles, and starting to fight with anyone who looks at him funny, just like you did. Oops. I'm just checking OBS to make sure I'm still recording. I am. Cool. Bjorn's hammer. Cool. We get him. Fighting a skeleton with a mop. Oh, hell yeah. As you step into the brawl, you bump into a skeleton who's busy mopping up a puddle of beer. Why do we even have to do this? He asks. It's not like I get anything out of pouring beer through my rib cage. I have to mop it right back up. My entire afterlife is one big joke. He spins around and pushes a bony finger into your chest, full of exasperated anger. Looks like he's going to attack you, whether or not he has the guts. Bonk. Hey, we got his muscle. Plork. Ice cold Sir Schultz. A drunken seven foot dwarf. This is a. D <laughs> Hold on, that's great, actually. <laughs> Did I mention my mouse isn't working, so I'm using my little trackpad? My little, little, this thingy? Yeah, that guy. I just touched the, uh, the thing of my mic. Does that make a noise? ASMR. Anyway. Uh, I've been awake for quite a while. This is a dwarf miner from the distant foothills of Mount McLarge Huge, a mountain of such extraordinary largeness that even the dwarves within it are seven feet tall. He delved too greedily and too deep and seen things no dwarf was meant to ever see, and now he's drowning those memories in a sea of booze. For the record, he doesn't look happy, bashful, or sneezy. He looks a little bit dopey and sleepy. He's definitely grumpy if you're not careful. After this fight, you'll need a dock. Jump him. We get him. Okay, I want to... I want to look up and see what the other ones are. Just hit my microphone into my face. <laughs> she leans in to whisper close in your ear, but burps instead. Ick. Sleaze damage. She rests her head on your shoulder, leaving greasy makeup all over you. She kisses you square on the mouth. 
If the excess, excessive lipstick didn't gross you out, her breath would do the trick. She tries to slow dance with you and steps on your instep instead. Yike. She stumbles and falls into you, raking your, sh- raking your shoulder with her big fake nails. Great. Now next full moon, you're going to turn into a horny middle-aged woman. Even if you already are one. <laughs> that's, that's funny. She leans in to whisper into your ear, but can't think of anything suitably seductive to say. She leans in to rest her head on her... She tries to rest her head on your shoulder, but you step back, effectively giving her a cold shoulder instead. She tries to kiss you, but you tell her to kiss off. She tries to slow dance with you, but you keep your distance. She goes to the bar to get another eight or nine drinks. You wait while she tries to get some of the gentlemen to the bar to pay for them. She drops margarita, sangria, daiquiri. That's kind of funny. You get Mama's Squeezed Box if you steal from her with the thief stuff. The music this accordion makes is all right, I get. Interesting. Knob Goblin. I want to find one more beer lens. Wear Cougar. Here we go. Look at a dictionary here. Yeah. My stats are just so high that she can't really do much. I'm going to attack her, actually. Okay, now back to the typical tavern. Bart Ender. Feel thirsty, feel free to order a drink. Day old beer, plain old beer, and overpriced imported beer. All right, we'll go back. Uh, then we'll go back here. Explore the darkness. You're fighting a drunken rat. Hell yeah. As you're poking around in the dark of the cellar, you hear a squeak. You turn toward it, and before you stands a drunken rat. It's also a dirty rat, and it's pretty smelly. You know that idiom, I think I smell a rat. There's a reason for it. You jump it. We blonk him, and we get a rat whisker. Oh, cool. Fighting a drunken rat. We got a moxie point. Ooh. <laughs> 1984 had nothing on this cellar. While all the tavern cellars you've encountered in the past have led you to either a crate or some rats, you've never s- before seen what you find here. A crate filled with rats. It's too heavy to move and too noisy and unsanitary to abide. Dump out the crate. Pry the lid off the crate and heave, heave, heave it over. A deluge of rats scatters in every direction. Mostly in the uh, direction you top of the crate in, but every direction is represented by at least a rat or two. You pocket some of the leftover whiskers. Three rat whiskers. There's a single rat left in the crate, grinning at you like a madman. Mad rat. Madras? You wave your hands and make some oogity boogity noises, but he refuses to be scared off. Not sure what else to do. You pick him up and take him with you. Um, let's go here for a sec. Can we? Oh, wait, hold on. You use it from the inventory, right? Hmm. Here we go. Yeah. Name him Chipper Ricky. What does he do? One pound smiling rat. Chipper Ricky, what do you do? Help me, bro. Actually, I've got a lot of meat. I should go uh, to Seaside Town and just uh, torque the trainer, advance meat smithing, scowl the awk. Hide of the walrus. Claws of the walrus. Club foot. Yeah, why not? You just keep it going. Specateria. Let's get 15 of these. Cool. And then let's go check on our stats. Actually, wait. Let's... I'm hissing into the microphone. I probably keep hitting it on my face. I'm very sorry. Scal the Ock. 
with Scalvy Octo. Oops. <laughs> Scal of the Oc. Weapon damage plus 10. Damn. We got club foot. Through some cruel accident of evolution, 99% of the nerve endings in every sentient creature in the universe are concentrated in their feet. You've learned to take advantage of this fact by reversing the natural order and bringing the stubber to the toe. If you're furious, it also stuns them. That's cool. And then we've got Thirst of the Weasel. Heart of the Walrus. Claws of the Walrus. We've got a lot of weapon damage, actually. We could uh we could do something with that. Mythinks. Let's um what's the wimpiest seal? Let me see here. Wretched looking seal and cute baby seal. All right, let's burn one. Begin the ritual. You're fighting a spawn of Wally. You light the capel, candle and speak the ancient words. A ring of sickly green light coalesces around you and there's a sound reminiscent of vomiting snakes. As in snakes vomiting, not someone ate some snakes that didn't agree with him. As a loathsome creature fades into view in front of you. It's a spawn of Wally, wretched Wally specifically, one of the seven seals of the infernal abyss. Condemned for his unspeakable crimes against his brethren, he wallows, eyeless, earless, noseless, navigating his foul domain only by a sense of shame and outrage. When his hatred grows too strong for his frail, impotent body to contain, its given form is one of these. It's pretty disgusting. If you weren't so familiar with uh, seals, you probably wouldn't even recognize it as one. It's all tentacles and teeth, but more importantly, it's up in your grill. Let's trigger a crit right away. And wallop him. Oh. Cool. Got tended seal blood. Chipper Ricky smiles at you. His smile is infectious. Rats are a common vector for that sort of thing. You can't help but grin yourself. And we get more stats. Interesting. Um, that's great, but I don't like that. Give me my old one back. Yeah, take this one with me. Actually, let's kill another seal. Wretched looking seal. Bonk. Cool. Here's what you do. Get some seal's blood. Taint that seal blood. And when your roommates need blood, give them tainted seal blood. It's a perfect plan. Just don't touch me, please. I cannot stand the way you tease. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty funny. So it gives you the corruption of Wretched Wally. It's almost like a warlock move. Like, uh, let me see here. Wow, that's a lot. Get rid of some of these. <laughs> Tainted seal blood. That's that's pretty funny, actually. All right, well, we've gotten to the point that now the uh, special seal bosses I have to kill are going down in, like, a single fight, so... Let's, uh, let's get the next tier of... Seal. Oops. Yeah, let's get this one. You know what? Another one of these. You know what? Another ten of those bastards. Yeah, pile them on. Get them all. Let's drink a beer. Wow. That was almost worthless. Wow. That sucks. God, I should not use default stuff. All right. Um, 
All right. Now, I already read this one. Uh, but I will read it again. Light the candles and speak the ancient words. Hear nursery bells ringing faintly in the distance as a pink and bl uh, powder blue haze wells up in a circle around you. The wet pop as a broodling seal is plucked from the abyss and plopped into the ground before you. May look cute, but pure evil. All seals are. The moment the brood nanny offers, ushers them through the yawning sphinx of the abyss till the end of the days, it just maim, kill, and destroy. It blinks at you, then it blinks at you again, and then it giggles. Ready weapons spring in action because you know what that giggle means. Sorry, I just tried to scratch my screen because I was like, oh, there's something there. It's this little asterisk here. I don't know if you can see what I'm pointing at, but the, the one that leads down here. Uh, we're just going to crit it. Shit. You hold up the... You howl with fury, exactly one gallon of fury, and steal your nerves. You hold up the hammer, shout, by the power of Bjorn's skull. And smack your opponent for a whopping 35 plus 5 plus 16 damage. Crit, boink, kapow, boink. Smack, kablam, whammo. Desmond heals me for two hit points. It bats its big dark eyes at you. And as you gaze into them, you witness terrible, terrible things. Terrible. Just terrible. And you lose 52 hit points. Jimmy Christmas. I guess just crit him again. <gasps> Oh, entire gallon of fury bubble to the surface and draw back your arm for a raging attack. And we got a severed flipper. What does that do? How, how much do I need to be? I need to be level nine. One level I can fight these. It might be the first uh, honest fight that I've had in a while. I just kind of leveled up too much and it's kind of unfortunate, but it's also just kind of difficult. It's a melee weapon. <laughs> this is the severed flipper of an infernal seal. Scientists agree that there's nothing in the world more badass than beating something with a body part you ripped off of something. Of course, if they disagreed, we'd probably rip off their arms and beat them with it. It's a, that's not a bad weapon. What does this do? Stench resistance, whatever. Um, damn. Let's take a look at that. Is this my equip screen? No. Uh, all oh right, just an equipment. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded Kingdom of Loathing. I got in a funk where I didn't want to record. This is just you know off screen shit, but I got in a funk where I didn't want to record anything. Uh, and that sucked, obviously. But then, um, it was it was because of Morrowind. Uh, by now I think. Well, actually, let me check. Kingdom of Loathing, and then next... Seven? Okay, Kingdom of Loathing 7 comes out on the 27th. And then the day after is reached. So you guys probably... Or no, I posted the first episode. Never mind. Okay, fine. It's fine. Um, let me double check something. I shouldn't be doing this right now, actually. I should be doing this later. Uh, right, so... Anyway... Um, by now, the news about Morrowind will have already happened. Uh, I just got real, real sad that, like, Morrowind did not work out. Uh, and I didn't record anything for a couple of days. Uh, Achievement Hunter posted Halo 3 ODST Lasso. Uh, and I was like, oh, damn, I haven't seen... I probably beat uh, ODST once when I, you know, played it the one time I did. And then I was like, oh, I wonder if the Master Chief Collection is any good. And I was like, ah, damn, I have to buy it. And then I uh, played through Reach, and then I started recording Reach. And uh, here we are. So yeah, now Reach is in the rotation. Uh, I'll be honest, right now, Reach is already, like, really, really close to being done. Like, I've already recorded so, so much Reach. Um, and I definitely, definitely intend to record so much more. I might finish Reach in a little bit and end up like completing Reach so quickly that I'll <laughs> like it's it's something totally new to me where I've ended up recording everything, an entire playthrough before episode one even goes up. I'm like, that's dope, honestly. I love I love that. I love just having that much ready to go, you know? I love it when I do that. I'm actually uh, uploading 
reach part um, six, I think, right now. But anyway, yeah, so I haven't actually recorded uh, Kingdom of Loathing in a couple of days was my point because Morwen bummed me out. Um, can you hear me scratching my beard? Hold on. Does it actually show up on the waveform? ASMR beard scratching. But anyway, yeah, the point is is that I'm a little uh, off my game. So I can ditch Bjorn's hammer. It doesn't give me the plus 10 muscle, which is doing me a lot of good. But it does give me plus 5 muscle and plus 5 weapon damage. And it's more damage anyway. Yeah, it's 8 to 16. So it's a D8 plus 8. Wow. That's uh, that's radical. Instead of um, a D4 plus 6. That's a... Uh, yeah, that's better, honestly. I think Bjorn's hammer is going to get better when I upgrade it again. But until then, this is uh, this is pretty this is pretty fantastic. Um, now I know that. Oh, so it makes my muscle six. Oh, it was all worth it. Oh, it was all worth it. We did it. We did it. Reddit. We fucking did it. Yo. That doesn't burn any adventures. Yeah, I don't think that burns adventures. I have 42 adventures. Let's go to my inventory. Let's go to my misc, and let's burn a wretched seal. Let's just bonk him. 142. 142. Whoa! Okay, so it's a really hard boss fight. And it burns a bunch of resources to do it, but it doesn't take adventures. That's great, actually. Um, I'm going to fight these armored seals either this episode or next one. That's... Holy shit. Bro, that's for real. That's really dope. Not much fun. Barely a house. We're going to the fun house, by the way. My attention deficit, whatever, is getting the better of me. Five years ago, when they asked you at that job interview when you saw yourself in five years, you did not answer, standing in front of an ancient stone monolith that someone weathered naturally over millennia into the shape of a moaning clown head. You also neglected to mention that you were actually going to walk into the clown's mouth and into the dark labyrinth of ancient stone tunnels filled with clowns and other horrible demons in the goal of assassinating the boss. And you probably still wouldn't have gotten the job. You're fighting a disease in the box. This is a box which contains a disease and a spring, mostly disease. It gets the jump on you. The disease runs through your bloodstream and empties your stomach through your mouth. Gross, but you feel better. Um, the reason I'm going here is because the other quests that I'm currently doing are ones that I haven't really started yet, but also are kind of um, a little grindy, just like, oh, wear down all these areas in the, in the curpt or... Go run around the basement until all the rats are dead. But, you know, this is a little more progression-based. You club it like there's no tomorrow. Doing a whole bunch of damn... Damn! By a scary clown. This is a scary clown. All clowns are pretty scary, but this one's especially scary. Nice. This is a creepy clown. He differs from the scary clown in that he's creepy rather than scary, but the overall effect is the same. Cool. Fighting a bugbear in the box. This hideous abomination appears to be a bugbear on a spring stuffed into a box. No wonder he's so angry. Gets the jump on you. He tries to bite your ankle, but he spits you out, yelling, Filthy human, you taste disgusting. Cool. We got a bugbear beanie. Uh, he starts to attack again, but stops and bursts into tears. You know why I'm here? He asks. My name's Charlie. Nobody wants a Charlie in the box. He rocks back and forth on his spring and cries for a few minutes. Fumble. Nice. It appears to be uh, this. 70 hit points. Oh, wow. Rad. Current item. Box. This is a box from a something in the box. It's got a lid and a crate. It gives you plus one meat from monsters. Well, that's not bad. If you're going to grind meat, I guess. Disease in the box. Oh, we got Disease. This is a handful of germs. This would probably give a monster a pretty nasty disease. It weakens enemies very slightly. Interesting. Find a lemon in the box. Okay. 
This is one of the weirdest things you've ever seen. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. A lemon in the box? It tries to box whack you, but you get bushwhack part of landing it. It gets bushwhacked, rather. Cool. You're fighting a shaky clown. This is a clown from a circus where all the elephants are pink. His eyes are bloodshot. He moves in more of a stagger than a swagger in his breath. Oh, man. His breath. Get a jump on him. Cool. What are we doing? Holy shit, we've got a lot. Bug bear in the box. Yeah, this is the fun house, right? Oh, you drop your severed flipper on your kidney. We lose four, but we gain 15. He tries to box bonk you, but you bat him away. Bug bear being in box. So we're trying to go to the fun house, right? I don't feel like I'm making any progress here. Oh. All right. Adventure 1999. Deep in the bowels of the fun house, you encounter a large iron door with a hideous clown face painted on it. The nose glows with a deep, throbbing, and sinister red light. And let me just double check my recording. Yes. Push the nose. The, what oh, Jesus. The clown's eyes pop open and glow with a malevolent red light as they look you up and down. Then the hallway fills with the sound of hideous mocking laughter as the clown's mouth opens and a napalm cream pie swings out, clothing you with flaming jellied petroleum. The experience is incredibly painful and not particularly amusing. Something tells me you would have gotten that reaction if you looked more like a clown. That bit is, that something is this bit of really oz, obvious exposition. You look 0% clowny. Oh, God. Dress up like a clown so you can get through the door. Oh, boy. Okay. Guess we'll go to the bat hole. Perpendicular bat. I'm just kind of killing... Oh, this is new. You're fighting a scream bat. With an unholy shriek, a scream bat descends from the ceiling of the bat hole. It's gargantuan mouth. Oh, holy cow. That shriek was just a regular bat getting out of the scream hat's way. Start again. With an eardrum shattering, earth shaking bellow, a scream bat descends from the ceiling with murder in its eyes and a whole lot of volume in its voice box. Jump him. The bat fills its lungs for one more shriek, running from low enough to vibrate your guts from high enough to make a chihuahua's head explode. You hear rock crumbling to powder somewhere in the distance. Ooh. Bat hole. Bat rat and rat bat burrow. You're fighting a bat rat. This is a hideous amalgam of rat and bat. It seems to be more bat than rat. You get the jump on it. Rat appendix. Fighting a rat bat. This is a disturbing combination of bat and rat. It's more rat than bat. Oh, it's just the it's the it's the image for rat with wing edited on it. It's so lazy. That's I like that for some reason. I really like that. <laughs> All right, we got a rat appendix. We're, we got sonar and a biscuit. We sure are doing it. Cool. Thanks, Desmond. By the way, yes, you can absolutely. Um, name, oh, screen bat. Cool. Another screen bat. By the way, so you can actually change the names of your buddies. So Desmond doesn't have to be named Desmond. I've decided to keep him being Desmond. Go back to the bat hole. All right. We got bean bat chamber. You're fighting a magical fruit bat. You hear a faint tinkling of bells in the distance as a bat with an orange for a body abruptly materializes in front of you. Get the jump on it. You bask in the cloud of loose magic left over from that weird bat. Orange strawberry muscularity points. Ooh, can I make some screwdrivers? Cocktails. Vodka. Orange. Skuru Duraiba. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go drink it right now. Why not? Consumables. Hey, let's eat some bagels too. Astonishingly tolerable. tolerable. And hey, you know what? Actually, wait. I'll wait for that. I think I remember something. All right, we finally got 70 muscle. And let's uh, get rid of our cottage cheese. 
They're not pasty. Cool. And a liver popsicle. And a plain bagel. Damn. All right, cool. And then let's drink our screwdriver. I love screwdrivers because not only are they very, very easy to make, but also they give me muscle boundedness or whatever the strength main stat is. Um, or substat, I believe it's called, which is good because that's what I need. All right. Bean bat. Magical fruit bat. Bonk em. Fighting a bean bat. This is a bat with a bean instead of a body. It grows leafy tendrils and starts to throttle you, but keeps bending towards a shaft of light through the cave ceiling. Fumble. It grows leafy tendrils from its body and throttles you 10 ways to Tuesday. Whatever that means. Oh, it crit me for one damage. 10 ways to Tuesday. Wow, it's uh, not really doing well. We got an enchanted bean. This is a bean, but it's not an ordinary bean. It's enchanted. Of course, all the beans in the Kingdom of Loathing are enchanted, so I guess it is an ordinary bean. Cool. I wonder what that does. Magical fruit bat. It fires a bolt of energy at you, but ricochets harmlessly off the cave wall behind you. You drop your severed flipper on your head. It conjures up a cloud of nasty-smelling air, but you hold your nose until it dissipates. Cool. Musical fruit bat. Oh, because it's a bean. <laughs> bean the musical fruit. Ha <laughs> ha. You are ambushed like a lemon with bat wings, like in that song. Cool. Easy money. Magical fruit bat. Hmm, I might cut the... Ah, scream bat. Never mind. They knew I was getting bored. Boss bat's lair. Um, yeah, I was considering cutting this episode because we're, you know, brushing up against time. Uh, it's not, like, terrible, but, like, it's also just a lot of grinding, so I was going to grind off screen. But we got the boss bat's lair, so you're fighting a beefy body guard bat this is one of the beefiest bats in the borough and that's why the boss bat chose him as a personal bodyguard he looks eager to buffet batter bedevil and even berate you leaving you thoroughly bedraggled beware he tries to bite you on the throat but pulls a muscle on his neck and has to stop to apply some beefy bodyguard bat balm we got a beefy pill Ooh, i like the sounds of that we get Beefy for 30 adventurers. You swallow the beefy pill, which is quite a feat, and feel beefy enough to take on the world. Wow. Beefy. Well, don't you feel beefy? Damage reduction 10, cold resist, slight resistance to every element. Holy shit. We got a bunch load of strength. Hell yeah. Beefy body butt. Beefy body guard bat. He flies towards you, your head, but bumps his own head on a stalactite. Maybe it was stalactite 17 and is knocked unconscious for a few seconds. Fumble. Bonk him. Bunch of meat. Uh, he flexes his beefy pectorals at you, but you flex yours back. Yeah. I am pretty beefy. I've got 70 muscle. Bonk. Jump him. Bonk. Oh, come on. Stop holding me back. Obi-Wan. Beef pill. The boss bat. Here we go. This is the two-headed bat who runs the bat hole. Despite constant arguments with himself, which usually leave him with four black eyes. He tries to squeeze you with his talons, but lacks the talent to do so. He tries to guano bomb you, but there's guano way you're putting up with that. The boss bat flies up to you and sinks its two pairs of fangs into each of your jugulars. The jugular on each side of your neck. Whatever. You stand helpless as energy is leached from you until you disengage. Two goofy, goofy grins on his faces. He regains 10 HP and he lo and you lose 10 MP. Uh, we kill him in um one hit. I was giving him a chance to do that. Uh, we get a dense meat stack and a bat skin belt. Cool. 
you shouldn't be here. All right. Can we go back to the bat hole? Yeah, it's just blacked out. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at that uh, meat stack. I imagine it's just a big meat item. This is a very dense stack of meat. Meat smithing for a uh, thousand meat. That's not bad. And then we got the batskin belt. Batskin belt. Here we go. This is a belt made of the skin of one of the boss bat's underlings. The alternative is that the boss bat was wearing a belt made of his own skin, which is super gross. Everything plus three. Ooh. Let's go take a look. Let's go to my equip screen. So what am I wearing? Dead guy's watch, which gives me another adventure per day. Impunity, which is more damage. This is eight sleaze damage and more resistance. Uh, I can take this off. Oh, the box is an offhand item. Plus one meat for monsters. Right. Okay. Let's put on the batskin belt. Ooh, look at them stats. Hell yeah, bro. Um, well, we defeated the boss bat. Oh, I'm having a stroke. Oh, no, it's the... <clears throat> Sorry. Um, the window's on my left, and so when uh, the sun is in the window, my arm's warm, but whenever a cloud goes over the sun, my arm gets suddenly cold because of the nature of heat in the universe. Uh, so my arm went cold, and I thought it was going numb because I thought I was having a brain aneurysm. That is uh, not what was happening, though. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm fine. Anyway, that was, um, <clears throat> that was Kingdom of Loathing. Thanks for coming by. I've been Alfred. Uh, we defeated the boss bat this episode and we pushed some more on, uh, on the quests. I'm going to grind, I'm going to grind for a little bit and then I'll be right back. Um... Yeah, I'm going to grind either the curped or the uh, the basement just to get those out of the way because those are going to be a pain in the butt. But yeah, until then, uh, I've been Alfred. Thanks for coming by. Thank you.